Hi, I'm Agatha, and I'm going to present the results for my MRS project entitled Catastrophizing is Associated with Low Self-Confidence and Risk-Taking, but No Prediction of Low Scores in Computerized Tests. I was supervised by Dr. Alex Pike and Dr. Oliver Robinson, and this project had a contribution of Nina Pillay. And we are based at the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience at UCL. Catastrophizing can be defined as always predicting the worst possible outcome for a situation. Catastrophizers, meaning people who catastrophize, my thing, for example, I had a really bad month at work, I'll probably get fired, or I'll fail all my exams and I'll never graduate, or even if I travel, something horrible will happen, so it's best if I don't travel. So we know that catastrophizing is associated with anxiety, depression, and other mental illness. But we don't quite understand what are the cognitive mechanisms associated with catastrophizing. So in order to understand those mechanisms, we developed three cognitive tasks and delivered a catastrophizing questionnaire to 68 participants. Our first aim was to understand if catastrophizers will always predict the worst possible outcome for the future. To assess that, we developed a card task where participants could choose between two cards. Each card could either give them points or take them away. Every 10 trials, participants were asked to estimate how many points they would have by the end of the task. Then, they were asked how confident they were about their estimation. Interestingly, there is no correlation between the amount of points they estimated they would have and their catastrophizing scores. On the other hand, there was a negative significant correlation between their self-reported confidence in the estimation of points and their catastrophizing scores. Next, we wanted to understand if catastrophizers always think they are having a bad performance. To investigate that, we developed a maths task. First, participants were asked, how good are you at solving maths problems? Then, they had to answer mental or arithmetical problems, and after five problems, participants were asked how well they thought they were doing in the task. As a result, we found a significant negative correlation between the catastrophizing scores and how participants reported their performance on the task. Participants who catastrophize more tended to report their performance as being worse. Additionally, there was a significant correlation between how they perceived their math ability to be and their catastrophizing scores. Participants who catastrophize more tended to report their ability as being worse. Finally, we wanted to understand if catastrophizers will always take fewer risks and avoid negative outcomes. To assess that, we delivered the Balloon Analog Quiz task. This task was first performed by the same 68 participants who performed the other two tasks, and it was the basis for our slightly changed version performed by 264 participants. The results for this second version will be presented here. In the Balloon Analog Quiz task, participants had to pump a balloon up in order to earn points, but at the same time, they had to avoid bursting the balloon. Because bursting the balloon will make the participants lose all their points in the low cost block and all their points and extra 1000 points in the high cost block. There was a significant correlation between the catastrophizing scores and the amount of times participants spun the balloon up in the low cost block, but not in the high cost block. We also measured how many times participants spun the balloon up after a balloon that bursted very early with only two or three pumps. There was a significant correlation between the catastrophizing scores and the amount of pumps in the balloon that came after the early burst balloon, but only in the low cost block, not in the high cost block. In sum, it appears catastrophizers are less confident about their prediction of the future. They also seem to be less confident about their mathematical abilities and they perceive their performance as being worse. This suggests that low self confidence and low self efficacy might be a potential basis for catastrophizing. Finally, catastrophizers seem to be less willing to take risks and more willing to avoid negative outcomes. But that's only the case for when the cost for the risk is low, because when the cost is high, it appears that people who don't catastrophize behave like those who do. Our study showed for the first time the potential cognitive mechanisms associated with catastrophizing. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in contacting me via email or Twitter.